In this lesson, we're going to add more objects to our scene. So now we have the small stars, the big star, and the spaceship, also the belt. Let's start with the small stars, because it's just small spheres scattered everywhere. And usually I like adding stuff like that, because it populates the scene and adds some small cute details because let's say our character is running for example you'll see like smoke trails so you can add like small spears in there maybe there's a house and there's a chimney you can add smoke as well stars also work maybe like a sun or like some clouds all the small details help so once we add like a sphere here maybe we can duplicate it a bit more but it's just a small object i like to group them in a way so go into edit mode and duplicate this small sphere to something like this maybe also move it here one smaller one bigger maybe one next to the big star here another one here but if we go to object mode now first of all let's rename it to stars and then we go to the object mode and let's say we want to rotate this. You'd see it's rotating around this orange point. It's like the origin point of the object. With bigger groups like this, I don't like to have origin point in this in like one spot like that, one random spot. I prefer to have it in the middle of the geometry. So the way to do it is you press right click and then set origin to, and you have options so you're gonna just say origin to geometry and then now if we rotate it it set the origin point in the middle of the geometry here so you can rotate it there which i think comes handy when you're moving stuff maybe scaling stuff as well and as we finished the small stars let's do something for the bigger stars you can model this bit by bit with a cube like always but I think it's easier just creating a cylinder with five faces and then extruding the polygons on the side. Let me show you how I usually do it. Shift A to add the cylinder that we want to add. Then the cylinder, we make it five sides like that. Maybe scale it on the Z axis. Scale it down, maybe rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees. Go to the camera view and then move it here and then we rotate it a little bit and now I wanna go to edit mode I wanna select all the polygons on the side so with the polygon selection on I just press alt and then click here in between both polygons here and now we selected all the polygons on the side if I want to extrude each polygon on its own, so first of all, I'm going to inset the polygons on the side. So I press I, and then you'll see it's going to inset the whole thing, but I want each individual faces, so I press I again. And you can scale them, of course, but I don't want to scale it. I want it in its own, like in that specific size. So I'm just going to click again. And now if I press E, it's going to go into one direction, like all of them. I don't want that. I want each polygon to go to its own direction like that. So the way to do it is you see this icon here was the pivot point. If you go to individual origins, click on it and then press E again. But instead of extruding it inwards, you actually extrude it outwards like that. You see that you're actually getting that star shape. And of course, I have to just scale it down like that and then go to object mode camera view again i think that fits but we have to check it once we add the subdivision modifier to make it smoother with this big star selected let's go to the modifiers subdivision i think it looks good but maybe i want it a little bit more chunky because i think this is like a star fish shape so maybe yeah just go edit mode again but of course, if you scale something like right now, it's not going to scale with like the combined origin point. So let's just, instead of individual origins, go back to the median point again, then scale it down. 
Yeah, I think that's chunky enough. I like it. And then, of course, we can just duplicate it there. And also, we have to rename this to Big Star. And Big Star 2. Yeah, that looks good. And for the spaceship, we can just add the cube as always. And we're just blocking it. We're not going to model any details. So just go to edit mode, Z to get the wireframe, and then select this polygon here. Move it on the X axis. Maybe extrude something like some other side and just like scale it down a bit. We're not going to add details now. So just roughly like that. And just one detail I might add is just also the engine and like the wings because it's going to be super quick. So let me show you, maybe select the edge here, select this, then duplicate it, make it smaller, maybe move it here, then extruding it on the Y axis. Now we can select the vertices and then get this vertex and move it here and then select this polygon. Then we can just extrude it upwards. I think this looks okay. Again, it's just blocking the object. So we can select the host of this whole thing with L, duplicate it, and then scale it on the Y axis with negative one, and then move it. Kind of matches. And for the engine, it's going to be again straightforward. Just take this polygon, duplicate it with Shift D, scale it down with S, and then Extrude it with E and scale up. Maybe just also extrude it again, scale it down, extrude it inwards, smaller. And then you can just select this whole thing with L and then duplicate it. Uh, we can rotate it a bit that. Yeah, I think this looks okay for now. Just blocking it. Maybe I'll add like some other wing here. Well, not, it's not going to be a wing, maybe like a fin. But yeah, also maybe select those, scale them down a little bit. Yeah, again, we're just blocking everything. One other thing I add, the cable here. You can do the cable in so many ways. The one way I can show it real quick is just getting a cube and then scale it down, scale it down, move it back up. And then one way is just to edit mode, select the polygon, keep just extruding, 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 and then till you actually get the shape that you want. And then of course, with the subdivision modifier here, makes it smoother, you can have the shape. But there's also another way, which I think is better for cables like that one. And we can go to, again, shift A, instead of adding something from here, we can add a curve. And we add like this Bezier curve. If someone has worked with Illustrator before uh, or any vector based software, you're going to be familiar with that. Basically, it gave us this Bezier curve. And if we go to edit mode right now, so let's go to edit mode, you'll find this Bezier curve with the controller here. So go to camera view, then go to wireframe, move that. You can see it's creating some kind of curve with the handles here. So let's just select this one, scale it up. I'm just trying to make this line fit the cable line we have. So we have this, we can just scale it down. We can put this end near the spaceship. This end in the middle here, we scale it up. And then of course I wanna, because the line right now, make it a little bit clearer by moving to a pre material preview. Move the legs with H to hide it, hide this one as well. Um, so yeah, we have the busy curve. I'm just going to rename it. Then edit mode. Now we have this. You can actually, if you extrude the handle, you see it get this end here. So we can actually tweak it like this. So this one, we scale it up. And yeah, this is okay. Super good, not super bad. But yeah, we have the cable now. And this is just a line now. 
we want to give it a thickness. So if you go to the tabs here, you go to this one and you go to geometry. And then with the bevel, you have the depth set to zero. Please it. Ooh, that's way too much. So if you want to, again, tweak it, but in smaller increments, press hold shift. And yeah, you get that. Yes, I think that's better. And then if we press Alt H, and yeah, you'll see the cable going through the leg. You can just change that by selecting the handle here and then moving it way back. Okay, that works. And last but not least, the belt. So for the belt, let's just go to the wireframe mode. The belt here we have this round shape. And for the round shape, you can go with a cylinder. Just go to your preview. Get a cylinder, but now we have a cylinder with only five faces. So maybe you can make it, instead of five faces, let's make it 16. And then scale down like that. You go to camera preview, make it smaller, rotate it. You go to wireframe just to place. I want just want to get it right. And just rotate it. So measure your preview. The Y axis. Get a little bit here. And then mark name again. I think that looks okay. And for the pockets, the easy way would be actually just making one version and link duplicate to all of them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Show preview. And we have the belt, and then we should also create pockets for the belt. It's gonna be thinner from that side, so that way. And since it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward, we can just create like this thing right now. So maybe just get the edge here, duplicate it, then do the Y axis, and then select the polygon, and then extrude it. Looks okay for now. Again, we're just blocking the objects. That works. And then make it a lot smaller. If it's a lot smaller, maybe I should do it like that. Then camera preview. If we go to wireframe, I can just place it. So see again it's on the Y axis. Maybe move it back on the local Y. So Y and then Y again. And then uh, link duplicates, so let me just rename it to belt pocket. Okay. And then, yeah, just Alt D. This, then Alt D again for the middle one, then move it on the Y. And I think that looks good. Maybe skate it on the local X, so X and X again. Then we see a preview. And yeah, I think that looks good now. With this done, let's add more details in the next lesson.